Could you run through again the three to one relation on the torus of the space and time? Well, I th the way I think of it in the most simple way, three points determine a circle, but they also determine a triangle, okay? Now, if I stretch a triangle sideways to itself, perpendicular to itself, I get a prism. Now, if I bend the prism around, I would get a ring, okay? Three-sided ring. Now, suppose I twist at one-third of a turn, then I'll, uh, uh, this, so that the one side joins to its neighbor. See, instead of, let's say the sides are A, B, and C. And instead of A joining A up here, it joins B. In which case, then as I went around, I'd have to go around three times before I came back to A again. And that's a, exactly what this color thing does. If you follow, well, let's say we start with that. I started with red when I was drawing it. The red goes to pink, goes to yellow, goes to green, goes to blue, goes to whatever this is, lavender, goes to brown, goes to red. So I've gone through the seven colors, but I've gone around three times for once around this way. And that would, to me, be the answer to why three space and one time.